Sounds like a promise he won't keep. Hey, Ben. I can see that you're ready. I am. And? And what? Do you like how I look? You look great. You look great. I'm almost finished with the second act. I'm really close. Can we just be a little late? No, we can't just be a little late. You know what, just do what you want. I don't even care. Penny. Penny. Penelope. Can you at least turn that music down? Please? I was almost ready. And we're still in time for the show. You see? There's no need to get your panties all in a bunch. I'll be we're supposed to actually get out and do something fun tonight. That's what you promised. <laughs> Doing this is fun, isn't it? I didn't drop the kids off for this. Can we get going? Okay, okay. I know you don't want to be late. Don't worry. There's more where that came from later. Can't wait. Let's go. We change that light out with more dim light. It's so ugly. I don't know. Aren't men supposed to do these things? Are you a man, Albie? You know I'm a man. I'm the man. How long do you think he's had those paint swatches up on his house? I don't know. Does it really matter? Just wondering if he's ever going to paint the damn thing. Well, I don't know if you realize, but we actually have a lot of paint work to do on our own house, so. Well, we just moved in. You'd think he'd try to do a little bit better. Well, we can't all write award winning films like you, Al. It's a shame. Hey, you two. Jeez. Hey, Mark. Hi. How are you enjoying your new home? Yes. Oh, yeah, we, we love it. It's great. <laughs> we were just discussing how pleasant it is to have you as our neighbor. Wonderful. It's so nice to have you as my new neighbors. Oh, well, we just love being your neighbors. <laughs> Ever since Mary passed.
Well, it's just nice to have life next door. It's just nice to be alive. <laughs> Well, we don't want to be late for the opera. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye bye. Help me. Do you think he heard what you said? I don't know. He's such a freaking weirdo. Oh my god, he's still waving. <laughs> Longest party line ever, or what? I was on the phone with my mom for her information. Oh yeah? What makes you so happy about that? She said we can just pick the kids up in the morning if we want. Slap. I must be true. <laughs> you are not. That means no little brats climbing into our bed in the middle of the night? Little brats that you love. Wait, so what could we possibly do with the house all alone to ourselves for the rest of the night? Well, I was thinking maybe we could have a couple drinks and then you could finish what you started in the dining room earlier. Who are you and what have you done with my wife? I can just call my mom and tell her. No, 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 no. I like the other idea better. Well, let's go. Giddy up, cowboy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And you better make it good. You know I will. <laughs> good old Hollywood. I love spinning my days, staring at brake lights, living the dream. Well, hey, at least you're looking at the bright side. Oh, really? Couldn't detect the hint of sarcasm there. No, like you're actually looking at the bright side. Brake lights, bright side. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. It was three years ago. Are you writing out love again? The word you were talking about earlier. There hasn't really been anything successful since. Who knows what's going to happen with the agency if this one doesn't land. We might as well just pack up and move back to Idaho now. And what? Take over your dad's garage when he retires? Yeah, with all of my mechanic skills. You're going to be just fine. Besides, you can't give up. We still have to fulfill our dream of you writing and restarting in an Oscar-winning film together. That's still a dream, huh? Why not? I'm not gonna be stay at home mom forever. Don't worry. I know you. Some weird little thing is gonna happen to you tonight, and then you're gonna get this big idea, and it's gonna be like the best thing ever in your script. 
Oh, I'm waiting with open arms for that weird little thing. I don't think you have it on all the way yet. Look, I got it, okay? Here, just let me help. I said I got it, okay? Why are you always hovering over me? Because I've been standing here for an hour watching you try to do something that anyone can do in 20 minutes. You know everything? You do it then. We were here earlier. I know. I feel like we've been here for the past year. That's what tonight was supposed to fix though, right? No, I mean me and the kids. We came here earlier. They wanted to play after Emma's recital. Shit. Her ballet recital was too late. It was. I don't know how I keep letting this happen. Well, if you'd answered the phone after the three times I called you, I could have reminded you. Again. I want to do better. For us. You should have seen her. She was so beautiful. I should have. I'm sorry. We can't catch a break, can we? What were you gonna say earlier? When? Right before the tire popped, you were gonna say something. Doesn't matter. We should get going, though. Yeah, you're right.
don't suppose you're still in the mood? For a bath in bed? Oh yeah, I am. Can I at least help you with your bath? Maybe next time. Yeah. Hi! Can I help you folks? Jiminy! You folks sure look like you could use some help. Hi! Uh, no, can we help you? You're in our house. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Get out! Yes, honey! Uh, honey, these folks seem like they could use our help. And they seem a bit confused. No, we're not confused. You're in our house and we want you out now. Oh, 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 oh. Well, hold on now. Hold on now. I'm sure we can get all of this settled. You just need to calm down a bit. Oh. <laughs> Come in, Are you and okay? we can talk about this. Yeah, come on in. Just a bit too much. Can to we drink get tonight, you a glass of water or something? No, no, we don't need your help. We need you out of our house right now, or else you and I are gonna have major problems. I'll be. Hold on a minute, honey. Do you think maybe we should call this in? Listen, partner. I'm sure we can settle this. You just need to help us. Why don't you come in, and we can talk about it? I'm not your partner. Asshole! Albie! Uh, I really do think it's time to call this uh, in. What is going on out here? There's people in our house. Mark. Mark! That's it. I'm calling the cops. I'll be my guest, partner, if it makes you feel better. Hi. Yes. There are people in our house and they won't leave. Yes. No, not really. Nothing physical. Yes. 2210 Lincoln. Hold. How about you just send a unit down here? Okay, okay, just, just hurry. Yes? No, everything's under control. Thanks. Yes? What? Yes, you will! We need these people out of our house and... Hey! Hello! What? Hello. What happened? What did they say? I don't know what's going on. But if you think you can just... Don't move. I'll be. Both of you. I can't have you assaulting me again. I don't think your cops are coming tonight. So why don't you come in and we can work this whole thing out? I'll be. Please don't do anything stupid. I listened to her. She's making a lot of sense. What the hell do you people want? We just want to work this out! You won't get away with this! Okay! gun pointed at me before. Okay. Yeah, I am. And what the hell was up with Mark? That asshole acted like he'd never seen me before. So weird. Maybe he heard you talking about him earlier. Really? He got that butt hurt over that. I'm just gonna call again. Maybe I'll get someone else. I doubt it. Look what happened earlier. I'm gonna try. Earlier there were people in our house, and I think they're still there. We just want to... 2210 East Link. Hello? No. Hello? 
I can hear you. Shit. Okay. Look, let's just try to calm down and we can figure something out, okay? How can I? Just try. I'm trying. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do? Okay, look, there's at least one neighbor that we know we can rely on. One neighbor you can rely on? It's like 11 o'clock, she's not even gonna want us there anyway. She said it herself, come over and hang out whenever you want now that we live in the same neighborhood. I'm positive that invite wasn't for me. Okay, well, I think she's gonna understand given the current circumstance. Abby, come on, I don't want to be late. I don't want to be out here like this right now. Fine, but what stupid comment from her and I'm out of there. Fine, fine. Fine. Let's see how it goes. She's still accepting victims at this hour. Would you stop it? She's coming to the door right now. Don't screw this up. What? You can't tell me that's not weird that she's up right now, let alone coming to the door. Shh. Come on. Okay, maybe just a little. Penny! Did you finally remember that we're neighbors? Come on in. We've only been here two weeks, Kimmy. Two weeks is too long for not visiting your sister. Albie, it is very nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. You were just saying how surprised we are that... Surprised and thankful we are that you were up and so gracious to let us in. Oh, I suppose I like to stay up a little later these days. Well, tell me all about your problem. I love a good drama. I'll get the drinks. Thanks, Kimmy. You're the best. Don't mention it. So, rather than watching Albie get shot in the head, I thought it best that we get out of the situation as quickly as possible. And long story short, I thought we could come here, figure it out, and maybe, uh, Maybe stay the night. And what do you intend to do after that? Well, I thought we could go to the city in the morning and maybe talk to someone who isn't in on whatever the hell is going on over there. Go to the city, you say? Yeah. So what do you say? Can we stay? Hmm. I think, no. Come on, Kimmy, it's just for one night. I don't say it out of meanness. I say it in order to help you both, truly, truly. Well, if you really wanted to help us, you'd let us stay. Please, think about it. What could these people possibly want with your house? They'd have to know that you'd come back with evidence of owning the property and that they'd end up in jail. It's obvious. They don't want your house. They want something inside of it. They take it and then BAM! They're gone to Mexico. <laughs> Can you think of anything they might be after? Something valuable? I don't know. Maybe a few pieces of jewelry. Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. Well, either way, I think you should go back and find out. There's only one way to beat a crooked cop, and that's with evidence. And how are we supposed to get evidence? Easy. 
hide away somewhere and video them. We shouldn't go back over there tonight. It'll just result in another dangerous confrontation. If they end up finding you, just play the desperate card. Tell them that you'll give them whatever it is that they want. Just be sure you're recording the conversation. Then all the power is yours. I, I like it. I don't know. You'll have to be very convincing. Use those amazing acting skills of yours. Afterwards, you'll have everything you need to press heavy charges. I'm in. Let's go, Penny. Otherwise, who knows what they're getting away with over there. She's right. It may already be too late. Ben, come on. Let's go. No communication or even coming into contact with them until we have evidence of them stealing. All right, let's go. Let me know how it goes. I don't care what they say about you. I've always known you have a great head on your shoulders. Remember, play the desperate card. <clears throat> yeah. What do you suppose has gotten into her? I don't know. Maybe she's been lonely since the divorce. <sighs> yeah. Maybe you're right. Good call on going to her house. I think it was a good chance to clear our heads and make a strong decision. So, what's the plan? What's the plan? Why are you asking me? You're so eager, you tell me what the plan is. Okay. So, you said we should make sure to stay out of sight until we get evidence of them stealing, right? Yes. So then, we'll need to sneak up on them. Genius. We're saved. You're not helping. Okay, please continue. So the solution is simple. We go through the backyard and then straight in the back door. It'll for sure work. We'll totally be able to sneak up on those assholes. It's perfect, right? I don't like it. You want us to go inside the house while those weirdos are in there? Can we just wait outside, catch them while they're walking out with whatever it is they're going to take? No, we can't wait outside. We need to get close, take action. It's our house, our stuff. It's impossible to try to get through to you. None of that matters if you're shot dead. He's a cop. You really think he'll shoot us? I don't think so. You know what happens to cops in prison? Excuse me for not being convinced that a criminal cop won't shoot us. You really don't want to go back? Right Do you realize what's most likely happening to our home and everything in it right now? I do, but the, f the fight isn't worth what might happen. You don't even care. It wasn't you who bought the house and everything in it. You know what? When we get there, just do whatever you want. I won't be a part of it. You can go to jail for all I care. <sighs> okay, sorry. This isn't helping at all right now. No, it's not. How's this? We try my plan and if 
And if for some reason it doesn't work, we can play the desperate card like Kim suggested. It'll be perfect. What do you say? Fine. But if at any moment I feel like we need to leave, we are leaving. No questions asked. It's gonna work. Just get it over with. is coming this way. Whatever. Okay. Who goes first? This is your idea. You're going first. Okay, but how can I help you over if I go over first? I can get over myself. Thanks. Okay, it's settled. I'll go over first. Stop stalling. I'm not stalling. building a chicken coop with two small children hanging on you all day. The coast is clear, let's move.
But you're not taking that in there. But it's for Albie, me. leave it. It's okay. Leave it. Fine. Start recording. struggle. You won't break free. Any attempt to do so will be futile. Help me! Help me! No! You can continue to scream. No one can hear you down here. And it's highly unlikely anyone in close proximity will be willing to assist you. Please let me go. We'll give you whatever you want. You can have your freedom. As soon as we find what we're looking for. Now, does the male have the only access to the collective intelligence? Just ask for whatever it is you want and just leave us alone. Answer the question and you'll be set free. The question? I don't know what the question is. The collective intelligence. I don't know what you're talking about. Come now. You're not the first laborers we've intercepted. What is the primary method for communicating directives within the Central Intelligence Network? Spies. You have the wrong people who are not spies. Do not attempt to deceive us. We will not be easily misled. I swear you have the wrong people. If you do not want to cooperate, you will suffer until you are willing to do so. subsides, we can start again. <laughs> the suffering will end if you tell me what I want to know. I want to help you. Please. There. Now that's progress. Is the access point here in this room? How is the connection established? Please stop. 
I can't help you. <laughs> we'll see. Pretty messy there, partner. Let me help you. Oh, 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 oh. You're going to need to calm down before we can get anywhere productive. And I'm sorry about the blunt force earlier. It's just you so love to stand in the way of what's best for you. And we wanted to put all that behind us as fast as we could. You really need to calm yourself if we're going to proceed with this inquiry. Okay then. There. You're starting to calm now. Let's begin. Now we can begin. Oh, you, you son of a bitch. I'll kill you. Kill? Me? If you're saying what I think you're saying, that's an interesting notion, considering the position you're in. Someone's looking for you right now. When they catch you, I'm gonna be there to watch you burn. I don't believe you're going to be around long enough to watch much of anything. And nobody's coming for us. We don't even exist. Now let's begin. <laughs> Screw you! You! Another interesting notion. And a surprising proposal coming from you. Uh, no, I don't think I will. You should just kill me now. Once I get out of this, I'm seriously gonna rip you apart. Why would I want to kill you? I haven't gotten any information from you yet. Information? You're not getting shit from me! I believe I will. With a, a little persuasion. Now, I want you to tell me how you access the collective intelligence. This could all be so quick and simple, and then I could let you free. Let's make a deal, you and I. You tell me what I want to know, and in return, I will grant you whatever your heart desires. I don't want anything from you, asshole. But you're a failure. Everything in your life is a failure. I could free you from that failure. You don't know me. Your union with your wife is in its last days. Maybe I should offer her a deal. I'm certain I could please her in ways that you never could. And then we wouldn't need you anymore. You'd be discarded and she could live her life with all the pleasures of her heart. I swear to God, if you touch her at all, I will fucking kill you. Again, I've failed to communicate that you are in no position to make demands or threats. I I need to work on my communication skills.
You resort to aggression so quickly, but aggression never seems to go very far with you. You and I are going to have a much more productive time than I had with your man. Yes. Very productive indeed. Please don't. pleasurable as it can be, don't you? You don't want to go back to the methods my colleague was using, do you? Whoever it was that lived here before us. No. That's definitely not the case. Well, how can you be sure? I know. Because we're the ones who were here before you. We've been here a very long time. Please just let me go. We can't help you with whatever it is you want. We'll just leave. No. We can't be doing that, can we? Tell me what you want me to do to you. You should have just let him finish the job. I'm aware you can be very stubborn. I can be very persuasive. Good for you. Are you going to be cooperative? Depends. Are you and your weird little friend going to crawl into a hole somewhere and die? Access the 
collective intelligence. We can do whatever you want, as long as you tell me what I need to know. I don't know what you want. Maybe we can loosen you up a bit. And then something will come to you. What are you doing? Get off of me! Get off of me! Confirm for me. Is the access point here in this house? Confirm. The Collective has not yet achieved telepathic ability, correct? My wife! Where's my wife? Where's Penny? There's no need to concern yourself with her right now. Besides, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. That is how the saying goes, correct? I can make you squeal, so you might as well just tell me what I need to know. Will you just stop? Just stop! I haven't had children. I know that's what you prefer. No, it's not true. Then what is true? hoping we could have a talk, you and I. Now, between you and me, we both know that things aren't going that well for Mr. Alby. What do you mean? Well, he's been a little stressed out about his status in his current occupation, you know? And if that status were to continue to drop in his position th the way it has been, well, you all could lose your standard of living. No more nice things. Jewelry, nice dresses, no more. But we can help. We can see to it that you don't need Albie's employment to maintain your lifestyle. We can see to it that you can stand on your own. You can go back to that entertainment work you're so good at. And we can see to it that you are offered all the most desirable opportunities your industry has to offer. The nice things stay, and more to come. And all you have to do is help us. Tell me, where is your access point to the collective intelligence? Well. Hi, 
Shelby. After some deliberation, we've decided we want to help you. Help me? Yes. We know that your recent entertainment endeavors have been less than successful. We also know that it is not your skills or expertise that are holding you back. No, it is those in power in your industry. That's where me and my colleagues come in. We are very well connected, you see. And we can make things happen. We control a great many things, Mr. Alby Jones. Where is your access point for the collective intelligence? Oh. Oh, you're bleeding. No, 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 it's just, it's from my head earlier. No, I'm it fine. seems to be coming no, from your no, arm. No, no, I'm fine, I'm okay. fine. Turn and let me see so I can render aid. Seriously, I'm fine. Well, no, you seem to have cut yourself on this broken glass. Think about it. Your name will be known around the world. You can have fame, fortune, anything you've ever dreamed of. You could have anything or anyone you could ever want. You could have a woman who appreciates you and everything you are. So all I have to do is tell you where the intelligence access is. And then you'll make me successful and you and I will, um, you know, have some fun. If that's what you would like. Deal. I knew you'd be reasonable. Yeah, you know. Normally, when I do this type of thing, I like to start untied. No. You will tell me how to access the collective intelligence, and then we'll continue with the rest of our deal. Fine. I'll tell you where to find the access point. You have to go and get the device, and I can tell you how to operate it. Where's the device? Um, outside, by the driveway next to the house. You'll see a large metal enclosure. Remove the outside of the enclosure and look in there. You'll find what you're looking for. In your air control unit? Yes. We've never seen you access this unit in our rigorous observation of your family. I assure you, it's there. Apologies are necessary. It was entirely my oversight. I'll just need to make certain it can never happen again. Looks like you can use a drink, partner. Are you okay? Are you? Okay? Are you? Did he hurt you? He didn't, but he. But he what? I'm glad you're okay. Where's the woman? She's probably outside of the AC unit looking for whatever the hell it is they're looking for. What? Never mind, we have to get out of here right now. Not before this asshole gets what's coming to him. What? <clears throat> you heard me. He tried to kill me. You stop! 
You just stand back and do nothing, like usual. What? Can't you see we should have just stayed at Kimmy's? None of this would have happened if you had just listened. They would have taken whatever it was that they wanted and left, but you don't ever listen, do you? Let's go. Someone's got to put an end to the situation. You're always holding me back. Not anymore. You know what? Do whatever you want. I won't be a part of it. First thing you've said in years that's made me happy. You should get a lawyer. Yeah, hardly. They're the ones who attacked us in our own home. No, I don't mean for them, Albie. We put this up for too long. Fine. You think that upsets me or something? I have bigger concerns right now. You are a pathetic human being. I wasted my life on you. Wasted your life? You have no life. You just dead weight leeching off of mine. I'm going in the bedroom and locking the door. Self-defense. Don't worry. They don't even exist. There's a nice spot next to them if that crazy bitch ever comes back.
Albie? Don't waste your breath. Albie, come here right now. I said don't waste your breath. She's back. They're all back. Sit down. What? Wait a minute, we're not doing anything. If you don't sit down now, my associate here will use her interrogation methods on you again. Perhaps she can ramp up the intensity this time. Your associate? Yes, my associate. Now sit, both of you. So sick of you. <laughs> Why do they always act like they don't know how much stronger we are than them? I swear to God, you're gonna end up just like your friend up back, bitch. You mean me, partner? Human. What the hell, man? Filters are destroyed. Oh, yes. Yeah. Much better. Thank you. What? What are you? We are what you humans refer to as aliens. But soon, you will revere us as gods. And you creatures will be our humble subordinates, benefiting from our noble presence. It's not easy finding an inhabitable world with a secondary species like yours just waiting to be conquered. Yeah, believe me. If you knew of all the shitty galaxies we had to pass through to get here, even you'd feel sorry for us. So try not to waste our time, okay? Well... Say something. Kimmy, I don't know what the hell is going on right now. You're not a part of this. Just tell them to let us go. I told you already. Your Kimmy doesn't exist. I've assumed her physical appearance. Your Kimmy, no more. Half of your neighborhood, no more. 
Your city's law enforcement? No more. Jeez. What does it take to get through to you people? Let me know, okay? So we can get this all over with and take off these ugly masks. Hey, speak for yourself. I don't look so bad. You tell us how to access the collective intelligence so we can tap into the hive mind of your little species, take control, uh, then we all live happily ever after without having to start a war. Sound like a plan? What an honor it must be for you creatures to aid in rebuilding this world for beings like us. So tell us how to tap into the hive mind and we won't kill you. How's that for a deal? Huh. Fat chance you're gonna get them to talk. The two of you have been with them all night and have caused nothing but trouble. Hey, now we were doing all right before you sent them back to us. We wanted to find the access without confrontation. Watch your tone with your superior. I sent these dumb chimps over here to you wrapped in a bow, primed for interrogation. And what did you do with my gift? You were beaten and buried by a human. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> how to access the hive. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Just wait until our leaders find out that you're here. What do you think they're going to do to you if all it took from me was a little bottle of scotch? Your leaders coming together to save your world? Since when? No, there seems to be a fundamental flaw in your species' collective brain. Preservation of the world is not something that you do. Quite the opposite. Which is interesting, because you lack the intelligence to go anywhere else. Your species should be grateful to ours. Come now, give us access. Make it easier on yourselves. I couldn't fight this shit. You. You're the more reasonable one. Tell us what we need to know, for the benefit of all. You leave me no choice. Fourth one, take the useless one. Assume his flesh and discard his bones with the others. Yes, first one. What are you gonna do? Keep your hands off me! Albie, are you a man?
funny you decided to run here. Just think. Soon, you're gonna be just like the rest of your neighbors. One last chance. Heed the warnings called out by the bones of your people. Tell us how to access the Hive. We can promise you and your family the highest level of living. Your status amongst the humans will be second to none. Just tell us how to access the Hive mind. You need to understand. I can't help you! There is no Hive mind! Typical. Probe him. I already have many times. There's nothing there. All mush. Just like the others. Try again. <gasps> You know what to do. <laughs> wait, 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 please, you gotta believe me. There is no hive. There is no hive. There is no hive. <laughs> We're not stupid. We can work something out. I'm sure there's something else we can do, please. Aww, and he was such a tough guy before. Fickle, these creatures. You know, judging by this one, I'm beginning to think these humans aren't lying. All this time, we thought they were like bees. I'm starting to think they're more like flies. All attracted to the same smelly shit. Make it quick. We still have much work to do. You're really not going to like this, partner. No. No, 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 no. wait, 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 please, please! They're gone. Don't worry about them. Really? Yes. We gotta hurry. Pen. I'm sorry. For it all. Okay. Not right now. Help me out here. I'm serious this time. I want to do better for you. For us. Okay. Okay. Can you come and untie me? We have to get out of here. Relax. It's all under control. I'm gonna take care of you now. Okay? I promise.
partner? Did you guys have fun? Yeah! <laughs> they were little angels as always. Did you guys enjoy your night? Oh, Mom. It was out of this world. <laughs> <laughs>